Hey everybody, it's C Less of Me 22 here. Um, today is March 17th, and it has been one month since I got my vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I had my surgery on February 17th, so it's been uh, one whole month of this journey, um, being on the losers bench, all that good stuff, and gotta say it's been it's been good so far it has its challenges I think everybody says that but to keep it in perspective you know I had a lot worse challenges <laughs> I've been challenged a lot worse in my life and to have something to help me control one of my biggest challenges is is a blessing and so I can get over anything any of the head games or any of the desire to eat but Thank God that I have this sleeve to help me get where I want to. But anyway, um, I guess I'll start with my weight. I, um, let's see, uh, my highest weight was 311. Um, on the day of surgery, I was 296. And today, one month out, I am, drum roll, please. 275 wow okay that's a five pound loss from last week I have a theory about that I'll get to it in a minute but that's 21 pounds since surgery and 36 pounds from my highest weight that is that is awesome I'm and you know it's weird um there's just a little bit of a little bit of fear I'd say a very little bit I'm overall happy but it just kind of hit me earlier today that at 275 this is where usually when I go on a diet myself this is around where I'll be like I said I've said in a previous video when I get the 260s I'm really not gonna do it myself and I'm just like 270s is where I've been comfortable in my life you know lately to get to 260 I don't know where that's gonna take me and just for a very short moment I was like holy crap I'm here at one month out what's gonna happen in a few months like I said it was just a small thought so um, not really scared but like I said it was just a thought that jumped in my head that I was like oh my gosh I don't know what I'm going to be in a few months but anyway um, I'm really excited about that and doggone if I didn't mean to take my measurements before this video and I really don't want to stop now to go take my measurements so I guess I'll just add that on at the end but at two weeks I had lost um, nine and a half inches all around um, I think about an inch and a half off my waist like two inches off my bust and um, an inch like on my thighs one on my calf so I like measured um, my arms calf um, thighs, stuff like that, and um, so uh, all in, all in all, I had lost nine and a half inches at two weeks. So, um, like I said, I'll tack on at the end um, at one month what my how much more my measurements came down from two weeks. But anyway, that is some really really good weight loss. And my theory is this: you know, last week I was talking about the pain that I was having, and uh, the doctor had me do a CAT scan and. <laughs> I failed to mention that um, during that CAT scan, he told me, he asked me, he was like, are you using the, um, are you going to, having bowel movements regularly? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm having, I think so, yeah. So he was like, okay, he was like, because you have a lot of stool that they saw in the CAT scan. So I, I honestly, I had done number two like the day before. so. I thought I was doing okay with that. I'm taking my Benefiber and everything, but he was like, you know, you might want to take the Colace and stuff like that. So when I left there, I bought some uh, x lax So I was like, let me get that out of there. So from last week to this week, I think I got rid of some of that stool. So that might be why it's such a big number. I only did the um, x lax one night. That's not like I've been doing it every night, but... Um, so that might have something to do with the big number. Either I was holding on to it before and now I'm rid of it or, you know, um, I got rid of it now. So, um, but yeah, five pounds was last week. That's, that's, that's awesome. But, um, 
let's see yeah my pain is gone miraculously I don't know it seemed like maybe that Sunday I no, it was Monday when I was at work that I really noticed because I went to sneeze and I was bracing for some some terrible pain in my side and there was nothing so the next sneeze came and I just full-blown the first one I kind of tried to hold back the second one I just full-blown sneezed and there was nothing I've been coughing sneezing everything so whatever was going on in my side is gone and he also did say that all of the stool in there may have been putting some extra pressure on the um, on my side and that might be where, why it was hurting so much too so that you know taking the laxative and getting rid of it might have um, you know contributed to my side feeling better so that was uh, that's that's good I'm happy about that um, that's really all I have um, not much going on. I can be on soft foods um, starting today and I kind of did some pre stuff a little bit this week. Yeah, last night I had um, scallops and broccoli. Scallops are uh, high in protein, like 19 grams in four pieces. I was able to eat two um, pieces. So maybe that was good. You know, I seasoned it up, <laughs> put some Pam in the pot and kind of seared them a little bit and it was good it was a tasty treat I made like two pieces of broccoli I ate like a half of broccoli um before you know I had to I had to stop so um and something else I'm liking is uh french onion soup me and my boyfriend went out to um was it Fridays TGI Fridays and I had their french onion soup without the crouton that's how I liked it before I never liked the crouton in the, um, my french onion soup but that was good so um, but I'm pretty much still sticking to um, kind of soupy kind of stuff. I've had some chili. It's just that I can't really eat as much. I've noticed when I Mommy, eat the denser foods. I yes. Can't oh no, you broke it. Okay. Okay. Well, that's really all I have, guys. So um, hopefully this is short. I don't know. I tend to start talking and it, it's Mommy, actually like eight I minutes. You broke it. You broke it. I know. So, uh, you guys have a good week and take it easy.